Hi kids, it's Miss Rennie and it is yoga time and we have all gone back to school. So today we are going to do some back to school yoga. So first let me teach you the poses and then we'll put them together into a fun flow. So the first pose is called chair pose. So you step and your feet can either be together or you can hop them about hips distance apart. And then you can put your hands on your hips and you're going to pretend that you're sitting down in an imaginary chair. So I'm gonna to start to slowly bend my knees and sink my bottom and my hips back. And you can go as low, you can go just a little bit, or you can really challenge yourself and see how low can you go. And you wanna squeeze your belly tight and squeeze the tops of your legs and your bottom. And you can leave your hands here. You can put your hands on your heart you can even stretch your arms up to the sky and sink your hips even lower. So this is called chair pose. Get those legs strong and then stretch up and put your feet back together. We always start in mountain pose. I forgot to introduce that. So feet are hips distance apart. Nice, strong, but loose body. And you just stand strong like a mountain. Strong, 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 strong belly, strong legs. Nice, long neck. So show me, can you stand in mountain pose? Great job. Let's try chair pose one more time. You can keep your feet hip distance apart or put your feet together. Ready? Show me that awesome chair. We're gonna sink our bottoms back like we're sitting in an imaginary chair. Sit in that chair. Sit in that chair. Make your body strong. You can put your hands together. You guys are doing Great, and then don't forget to breathe and then straighten those legs and stand up. Awesome job, that's chair pose, the first pose. The second pose we're going to do is called star pose because you are all working so hard and you are shining stars. So you wanna put your feet a little bit wider apart. Great. And you can keep straight legs and then you just put your arms up to the sky like you're a star and you want to stretch and make your chest proud and really stretch those arms and stretch those fingers and if you want you can give yourself some shine by wiggling those fingers so show me star pose and breathe star pose great job then we can step our feet back together. Then we're going to do something called a forward fold, which is just a forward stretch. So we're going to bend our body down. You can either just lean forward or you can roll forward and you're going to tickle your toes. So you just want to lean forward and let your hang he head hang heavy. Legs can be straight or you can bend them a little bit. If it's hard to touch the ground, that's okay. Bend the knees if you need to touch the ground. And you can just touch the ground with your hands. You can also, if you'd like to clasp your elbows and sway side to side. And this gives the backs of your legs a nice stretch. So we're just gonna sway side to side. And then roll on up. Come back to mountain pose. Great job, awesome. Now we're gonna put it together for back to school yoga. So we're all going back to school. So you can pretend that you're in your classroom right now um, or at your learning station, whatever you wanna do, but we're gonna pretend. So what do you need for school? Let's get our backpacks, kids. What else do you need? Oh, you might need a notebook and something to write with. Anything else? Oh, there's my book. Get all your stuff, put it on your back. We're gonna march to school. March, march, march. Start waking up those bodies. Waking up those legs. Getting that blood pumping. We're marching to school. Okay, we're at school. We're at your desk. What do we do when we get to your desk? Well, you can take your backpack off, put your stuff down, and then we have to sit in our chair. So here we go. Sit in your chair. And we're gonna sit, and you can pulse if you want a little bit and bounce with me. Arms can be out, arms can be pressed at your heart, arms can be on your legs. You can pretend you're writing, you're doing your work. Ooh, 
What are you doing? Are you reading? Are you writing? Are you doing some awesome math or science? And then, oh my goodness, your legs are working so hard. We're gonna straighten those legs. Forward fold. Shake it on out. Shake it on out. And then ready? We're gonna roll on up and come into a star pose because you are doing amazing work. You're learning, you're growing your brains, you're making your body strong. Give yourself some shine. Awesome job. And then we're gonna hop it back together. It's time for the next class. Ready? So we're gonna sit back down into chair pose again. Let's count this time. Let's count four, 30. We're gonna count back 30, 29, 28. You can count with me, 27, 26, 25, 24. You can keep doing your work. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. Keep going, 17. Sink lower, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. My legs are burning. 10, squeeze your bellies, nine, eight, sit in that chair a little lower, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, you work so hard. Straighten those legs, take a rest, forward fold. I know I skipped some numbers on my counting. <laughs> forward fold, shake it out. Good job, breathe deep and roll on up and come into your star. Give yourself some shine. Maybe sway your hips from side to side. Maybe be a fancy star. Maybe be a movie star. Maybe be a rock star. Maybe be a basketball star. Come back to star. And this time we're gonna take our star over to the side, give yourself a little stretch. Breathe deep. Maybe you imagine you're high-fiving your friends in class next to you. Good job, guys and girls. Come on up. And then we're gonna take it to the other side. Straight legs, leaning your body. Give your friends some high-fives. Bring back up, give yourself a high-five. A little bit more shine. We're gonna sit back down one more time. We're gonna actually slowly sit all the way to the ground. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. And then we like to end class saying the special word namaste, which means the light in me or the special place inside of me sees the light or the special place inside of you. So say it with me on the count of three. It goes, namaste. Three parts, ready? One, two, three, namaste. Great job girls and boys and children. I will see you next time.